Hello, I'm Martin Dory and you are watching Adorama TV. Now today I'm going to be looking at this. It is the Lytro Illume camera. Now, this isn't like other cameras. In fact, it's not like any camera that I've ever seen or used. And that is because it's a light field camera. What exactly? Light field cameras, which are also known as plinoptic cameras, have been dubbed as the greatest innovation in photography in the last 20 years. Now that is saying something. Why? Okay. The light field camera uses a unique light field sensor, which is like a normal sensor, but includes a compound lens made up of an array of thousands of tiny lenses, which enables the camera to capture light in a different way. And that means that you can manipulate your photographs after you've shot them. And by manipulating them, I don't mean changing the contrast or the color or the exposure. What I mean is you can change the focal plane. You can change your aperture of your picture from f1 to f16. And you can also output those pictures as 3D images and also as animated videos, a bit like bullet time. It really is something else. With this camera, you can create what Lytro call living pictures and post them via Wi-Fi to social media sites or the web. Now, professional photographers and amateurs will love this camera in the same way. And the reason is that it will allow you to present your work in a completely new and different way. Now, what are the applications? Well, how far can your imagination go? Okay, I've only got a couple of minutes to talk to you about this camera and its capabilities, so I'd better move fast. Now, straight out the box, it feels nice, looks good, and also the packaging is relatively plastic free. Now, the company Lightjo should be commended on that. For all intents and purposes, this could be a standard DSLR. Everything's in the right place. It has a lens, it has zoom and focus rings, it had an on off button in the right place, it has control rings back and front. It also has a very neat and very, very pretty touch screen. Once you switch this camera on, you'll notice the interface looks like pretty much any other digital camera with a touch screen. You can control the exposure, you can shoot an ISO priority, you can shoot in fully manual mode and you can shoot in fully auto mode. You can also look at histograms, you can lock the focus ring, you can lock the zoom ring, all that kind of stuff but you already know how to do that, so I'm not gonna bother explaining that. And it would take forever, but bear with me, because it really is about to get interesting. You'll notice this camera has no aperture ring, and that is the secret of why it works and what it can do. The key to understanding this camera is understanding the way that the focus works. Now, the Lytro Illume camera produces images that can be refocused after you've shot them. Okay, how come? Well, it's all down to the sensor. Now the sensor, through its, the way it captures light, captures almost like a 3D image. And that is what allows you to manipulate the image afterwards. Each image has what we call a refocusable range. So if I set my optical focus to Chris the cameraman, for example, there will be a certain amount of the picture in front of him and behind him that we can refocus afterwards. Now, when I focus on Chris, what I'll see through the viewfinder will be the equivalent to f2, quite a narrow depth of field. However, the camera actually shoots at f16, which means that an awful lot more of the picture will potentially be in focus, and it's up to us to choose later how much of that picture is in focus. Got that? Okay, good. So if you apply what you already know about focal length to this camera, you'll then understand that the refocusable range will change depending on the lens you're using. So if you are using a wide angle, your refocusable range will be larger. If you're using a telephoto on the other hand, your refocusable range will be shorter, okay? The only way to demonstrate this is to try it out. Well, look, I can't think of a nicer place to come and test this camera out 
viewed in North Cornwall. It's a really pretty place. One of the reasons I wanted to come down here was because we've got the boats here. Now I can get some really decent perspective. I can get foreground, middle ground and background really nicely in a really pretty shot. And that's what I'm aiming for because that's gonna be able to allow me to make the most of the um, focusable range that we were talking about earlier. Anyway, look, the camera has got a 30 to 250 mil equivalent lens on it. Um, it's got all sorts of bits and pieces, but you're gonna have to try them for yourself. So I'm gonna get some shots and then I shall go back to the office and process them. So it's all about the composition here. I'm trying to get a really nice near foreground, mid ground and a background to make the most of that, both the 3D shift, but also the, the ability to refocus. Right, so I'm going back to my office now to process these and see what we've got. Okay, so I'm back in the office. Now, manipulating these photos is pretty simple. I've downloaded the software from Lytro. Uh, it looks a bit like Lightroom, so anyone who's familiar that, with that will be able to use it pretty easily. Plug the camera in via the USB straight into my computer, and then it shows me the pictures that I've just shot. Now I'm gonna choose a couple to import. This one shows quite a lot of promise. And once that's imported, I can then manipulate it. I can do everything that Lightroom can do. I can um, change the exposure, or I can change the saturation. I can do all that kind of stuff so I can treat it like a photograph, but I can also change the f-stop. Okay, so now I've imported the image, um, I, can, I can start to muck about with it. And you can see very clearly that actually on the, what they call the virtual camera, I can change the f-stop to f16, which means that we've got a really long depth of field and I can also change it to f1 so that we've got a really shallow depth of field now wherever I click on the image it will then throw the focus almost so that you can see we've starting to get quite interesting results another thing we can do is to animate our image now this is an auto animation, so all I'm going to do is click it and let it run and we'll see what happens. So it throws the focus, does a little 3D shift and actually starts to look really nice. Okay, so now I can export this as a 3D image. I can also export it as it is there at F16 as a flat JPEG. I can also export it like that if I wanted to at F1. The other thing I can do is to share it as a living picture to Lytro. All that's doing now is uploading that image to the Lytro website and in a couple of minutes I'll be able to see that and I'll be able to copy and paste the URL into any social media email it to friends, whatever, and they'll be able to see the same thing as I have. Now you can also embed the code in your own website. So actually if you were wanting to demonstrate uh, some, some imagery to a client or something like that, all you have to do is put it on your web page. Pretty clever. Okay, so now it's uploaded to the Lytro website. I click on it. And once it loads, eventually, I've got total control over this picture. I can click anywhere on the picture and it will take the focus to it and also I can use the mouse to create that living picture effect that Lytro are so keen on. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? I don't know. What can you say about that apart from wow. Now look, it's your turn to go and have some fun. I've had a great day with this camera and I think you will. Thank you very much for joining me on Adorama TV today. Don't forget you can go to the Adorama Learning Center or subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos, tips and tricks. Also, please don't forget to like, comment or share. See you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.